Hello everyone. So I am filming a video that I thought I would never be doing and that is an unhaul. Before the thought of getting rid of books just upset me, I just never thought I would just get rid of books. But the day has come where I have run out of space. I have no more room for new books and obviously I want to buy more books. And so I just looked through my bookcase and looked at books that I didn't really like. So I don't see the point of actually keeping it. I should donate it so someone else can enjoy it. So I have about seven books that I will be donated, but I decided to share them with you before I do. The first book is The Body of Christopher Creed by Carol Plume Usi is a book about Christopher Creed who disappears and the townspeople start blaming other people and it kind of changes the town forever. The reason I am giving this away is because I really don't remember it at all. I know I read it. I think I gave it maybe a 2 star, 2.5 star rating on Goodreads, but I have no idea. It was not memorable in the slightest. If I don't even remember it, then obviously I didn't like it or I just don't care enough about it. So I want to give it to somebody who will. The second book is House at the End of the Street. This is a novel by Lily Blake and it's based off the screenplay. So it's based off the movie with Jennifer Lawrence. And this is a horror book and I just didn't like it. This book was just eh. Like there was nothing really good about it, but I don't remember hating it. It was pretty me mediocre, so I see no point of keeping it because I'm never going to read it again and I'm not going to recommend it to anybody. The third book is Snow White and the Huntsman. This is also by Lily Blake and based off the screenplay of the movie. And it's the same deal. I didn't hate it, but I didn't really enjoy it. I think the movie is much better. Maybe someone who really likes the story of Snow White or even really loved the movie might enjoy reading this book, but I didn't. The next book is Every Secret Thing by Laura Lippman. This is like a mystery thriller novel about two girls when they were young. They found an infant outside by itself. The mother was inside making a phone call and they took the baby and something terrible happened to it. And now seven years later, they are both out of what they call kid prison in this and another kid goes missing and so they are the first suspect. Now, I didn't hate this book. I thought it was an okay novel, but there was nothing really thrilling about this. I'm a big fan of mystery thriller novels and this just didn't do it for me. I'm not saying that it is a bad novel, but I want to make room for more mystery thrill novels that I enjoy more than this one. The next book is The Merciless by Danielle Vega. If you have watched my other videos, you will know that I really disliked this book. It's advertised as like a supernatural exorcist book, but that is not it at all. Yes, there there is an exorcist taking place, but it's just really about mean girls trying to bully this one girl because she slept with the girl's boyfriend. And they are horrible to each other, they all turn on each other. It's just not something I want to read. It is just too negative and too catty and I really disliked it. And the next book is Bridget Jones' Diary by Helen Fielding. I was really disappointed by this book. I love Bridget Jones Diaries, the movie, and so I was really excited when I saw this and... but I just thought this book was so problematic. I think if you have an eating disorder or really struggling with your weight and you get triggered by those things, this book will make it worse. All she talks about is being like fat, she writes down the food, she eats and the calories and all that. But Bridget Jones is not heavy one bit. She's not even considered overweight. And that's the thing I didn't get because even other people described her as that way. And so it just made me angry throughout the whole thing because I thought it was sending a bad message. Because I really thought going in there, you know, Bridget Jones would be overweight and it would be like this, you know, comedy kind of thing. But it's not. It's just talking about a girl who is of average size 
speaking that she's fat and doing a lot of horrible things to her body. I think this would be triggering for a lot of people. And I was very disappointed in it. And I think instead just watch the movie. The last book is Anthropology of an American Girl by Hilary Thayer Hammond. I haven't read this book, but I was looking through all the books that I haven't read. Like all these books here are books that I haven't read and they're on my TBR and there are a lot. And I just looked at it and I was looking at some of the reviews for this and this one stood out because it got really bad reviews. So I knew it deep down that I was never going to read this book. There are a lot of books back there that I am excited to read and I know I will get to it someday but I know this book is something that I will never read and then so there is no point of keeping it. Those are all the books that I will be donating. So like and subscribe and I'll see y'all later. Bye!